Good afternoon on what is a cool, bright and sunny day. It is Wednesday, September 28th, and I'm in the reading up with um, some parcels and a nice hot cup of tea. And what I am going to unbox next is this. And inside, uh, what I have is this uh, Judges Guild's Bob and Bill, a cautionary tale by Bill Owen. This is the third edition. So, uh, updated and expanded third edition details Judges Guild and Time with Bob Bledsoe, being history by Judges Guild co founder Bill Owen. Background uh, as Bill Owen as an early war gamer in the 1960s and 1870s. Meeting Blob, Bob, Bob Bledsoe, our rollicking Dungeons and Dragons campaign days, false starts with a forgotten role playing game system that was out of this world, personal pictures and scans of one kind, play aids, and so on. Um, so, this is a history. Basically, you've got a list of what's, what's included in the book in the, on the back um, at, uh, of the company Judges Guild. Uh, which uh, was in business from the sort of like mid to late 70s, mid uh, to mid 70s to sort of through to the early 80s, and produced um, a wide range of supplements for different role playing games, um, but never actually produced content essentially uh, for its own gaming. It always supported other games, primarily Dungeons and Dragons and then Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, but also Tunnels and Trolls, Traveller, RuneQuest, uh, Empire of the Petal Throne. Villains of Vigilantes, um, you know, the, you, you name it, it's it sort of like produced content for all of the big role playing games of the uh, of the 70s. Um, now, the problem, of course, is with a book like this is that Judges Guild itself has been mired in controversy um, uh, since. OK, um, but. Um, I'm not going to. We're not going to get into that with obviously with this with this book, but this is about the history of themselves, and that's why it's interesting from, you know, a role playing history um, point of view to get their view of what happened, how they ran their company. Um, some of it has been covered, of course, in things like Designers and Dragons, which is Shannon Appleson's um, fantastic history of role playing. Um, uh, but um, this is this is their own history, uh, and I was interested to read this, this um, to hear what it was all about. So um, originally published in two thousand and eight, uh, this one third edition um, was is it originally came out in twenty fourteen. It's been sort of floating around, and I sort of it popped up on Amazon. I thought I'd grab a copy. So um, here we have a copy of the original Wilderlands map. Um, you really can't see a lot of detail there, um, but um, here, um, essentially you've got a forward explaining why uh, um, uh, Bill Owen wrote the book, um, and then you've got a proper introduction um, to the book itself. Um, and this is interesting, essentially I enjoy reading about role-playing history, uh, and particular games, companies, uh, you know, of course, Designers and Dragons um, is one, um, and then more recently Game Wizards and uh, um, from John Peterson, and then um, uh, to, uh, um, uh, the book by Bill uh, Ben Riggs as well. Uh, so, as with a lot of early um, kind of uh, uh, the early proponents of role playing games and their designers, they started off with wargaming. Um, uh, this is where it kind of started, um, and you've got various interesting documentation there, photographs, newspaper articles. Um, that's all really kind of um, useful and interesting. Um, and then how they got involved in Dungeons and Dragons when it came out in 1974, 1975, uh, and was actually creating their own content for the first time because it, ultimately that's what uh, that's what you did when it first came out because there was no official official adventures you were given these rules off you go do it um, you know make your own worlds make your own settings um, play it however you want before it really kind of got codified um, with the first adventures with the first with the first campaign settings uh, and then advanced Dungeons and dragons and so on 
um, and then how the business itself got started. Uh, and then here we get into that in more detail. Um, and then um, essentially explaining the business, learning how to do it. And then, you know, you, you know, basically, I want to go and produce these books. How do I do it? How do you, it's not just the writing, it's the production values. Um, it's the layout, um, and then it's getting it to print, and then it's, it's, it's getting it into, into the market. It's, it's all these learning steps, uh, and I think that's covered here. And then going to the first big event, you know, Gen Con 1976, which you have to remember is, you know, was a little affair in comparison to what it is today. Um, today it is huge, it is uh, 50, 60,000 people um, all in one weekend. Then it was just a few thousand, if, you know, at that. Um, and then which, uh, just just more and more history. This is going to be, I say, going to be an interesting read um, and and review. And uh, it really sort of like really not profusely illustrated with these these photos. I and mean, you know, if you've got an interest in the history of role playing games uh, and the hobby, then this is probably one you do want to read um, because Judges Guild influence upon uh, the. Um, hobby is undeniable because ultimately what it did was um, it showed the way for how supplements could be done or not done in some cases uh, and then we have judges gifts or errors and uh, uh, mistakes presumably, presumably that were made along the way uh, and then uh, back to Gen Con this time 77 uh, and then the admonishment that business is not fun. No, it's not fun. It can be work. It's it work. Some of it can be fun, um, and it's great if you get when you get a book out and so on. I've done that. It is good fun. Um, but, uh, and then uh, you know, just continuing the history. Um, but, uh, and just more, um, and then. Again, just more personal stories. Really, these photographs kind of touching more upon the wargaming side of the hobby, I think, than necessarily the role playing here. Um, at, uh, and, you know, and basically the kind of travel that working for Guild Judges Guild afforded, because obviously you go around the country, you go, you visit conventions, and then uh, and so on. Um, and there's general playing. You're playing what Bill Owen was playing, and what his friend, what Bill, um, and then Bob Bledsoe, and sort of like sons were playing at the time you know how they were involved but, uh, um, and then um, we have in memoriam and Bob Bledsoe the founder of Judges Guild but, uh, quick afterward and this is actually taking up really not even taking barely taking up half the book um, and the various articles and so on, uh, the role of imagination, clues appear on odd spots, you know, just expanding upon uh, the original book. Um, but, uh, and this is really kind of looking at, um, you know, going back through 30, then 30 years of, of, of gaming history, uh, you know, in the, in the garage and so on. Um, and, um, Covering things like fight on, contribution to fight on, um, interviews, bits and pieces, um, things like look at the, the, the Judges Guild um, game shop, um, a Welsh fantasy game. I judged a judged a game after Judges, Judges Guild based on um, uh, based on Wales, uh, country Wales. That would have been interesting, I suppose. Um, and then, you know, um, how to get rid of a huge game collection on eBay. Uh, that's something that will probably happen for a lot of us uh, when we come get to a certain age. Um, and then you know, just generally um, the games that he, he Bledsoe and Owen were playing during the period and discussing them, um, you know, at, uh, such as a um, recreation of Pegasus Bridge. Uh, to remember that sort of like 2000, uh, year 2000 was kind of a, a popular point for interest in war games and um, history because it anniversaries associated with um, uh, World War II just 60 years before. 
Um, right, uh, and just general memories, I think. So it's it's uh, you know um, it's a bit of a potpourri, um, a bit of um, mix and match of, of elements. You know, for example, like you know, um, original maps for Teagle Manor. Um, Uh, at um, the original city map, Maybo Bob. I mean, pieces of, of history um, which, uh, that you can see there. Um, and then de extra details for the second edition, and then um, third edition, so on. At, uh, so essentially bringing it up to date in 2014. Um, so yeah, that judges guild, that judges guild, guilds, guilds Bob and Bill a cautionary tale. Um, it's a bit of a mix and match, a bit of potpourri um, um, of elements within the book. Um, but I think you'll get a bit of a good story, especially I think backed up. I think if you read something like the uh, history in Designers and Dragons. But yeah, um, I look forward to giving this a, a read and review uh, sometime in the future. Anyway, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching another unboxing in the Nook. If you, um, if you enjoyed it, then please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, then I appreciate you posting those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, where you'll see me out here uh, with a parcel uh, containing a book or game, which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all, of course, accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, thanks again for watching another unboxing in the Nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.